All right, hey guys, welcome to a brand spanking new video. It's Kim George here from Your Chic Geek. And um, again, welcome, welcome. Before we dive in, I want to first off say thank you guys so, so much for helping me get to 18,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. <laughs> But I just thank you guys so much for rocking with me. I can't believe you guys like to listen to my country voice and all of that stuff. But thank you all for the love, for the support, um, just again, for rocking with me. And um, I really do hope you get value from um, the content and things that I produce. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, also, for those of you that are interested in um, getting started with uh, building out your low content book empire, and maybe you want a more um, a more of a strategic approach to publishing low content books, I have a course that is available that is called From Publish to Profit. There should be a box that comes up that will take you directly over to find out more about the course. So you can head over to check that out for those of you that are interested. And then also, I have some epic freebies that are available as well. They're going to be links below. One is to a swipe file and list of 200 low content book publishing ideas. And then also is for a free masterclass where you can learn the framework that I use to make over 1K a month with low content book publishing. So that is what I have for now. But let's go ahead and dive off into this video. So I have really not been publishing um, a lot of content or videos on Mid Journey. I know there's already a lot of videos out there. And I know that you probably think I'm Mid Journey averse or AI averse, and I am not. <laughs> I use it quite a bit. Um, and, and, you know, one of the people that I definitely, I highly recommend that you follow if you're not already is my friend um, Danny On Demand. Danny has a lot of great and epic videos that talks a lot about Mid Journey and some of the things you can do. So you can head over to check out his channel. But for today's video, I am going to be talking about Mid Journey and one of the use cases that you can use Mid Journey for to create clip art. <clears throat> and this is going to be creating some clip art for your low content books. So first off, I don't know if you guys saw the video that Canva finally released that talked about their licensing. I love Canva. I still use it as my main tool. But one of the things that they did come out and say is that unfortunately, due to licensing and things like that, that you cannot use their um, images um, in your uh, KDP books. Now, I'm not sure about the free images. I know this is for definitely the pro images and I have a pro account, but I've had to find other ways to kind of make my own kind of clip art and then use things from Creative Fabrica. Now, sometimes I can't find things that I really like in Creative Fabrica. So one way that I found that I could actually go and create my own clip art is through using Mid Journey and prompting it to create clip art collections. Now, this is really cool for a couple of ways. Again, number one is you can actually use your clip art on your book covers, maybe you're doing activity books, journals, whatever. Or number two is actually you can sell the clip art as a collection over on a place like Etsy, in your own shop, or even on Creative Fabrica. So what I want to do really, really quickly in this video is to show you guys how you can go about prompting Mid Journey to create a collection of clip art for you. And then also um, how I was able to get ChatGPT Chat to give me the list that I included in this specific prompt that I'm gonna be putting into Mid Journey to get the clip art list. Now, first things first is for some reason, ChatGPT is um, on the struggle bus today. <laughs> it's not working, but I was able to go ahead and get a list of items that I could use for a specific uh, book that I want to create. So as an example, maybe if I wanted to create a kind of children's camping activity book, then um, what I did was I went over to ChatGPT and I just said, hey, can you give me a list only of 10 items that a kid would need to go camping with. And this is the list that it gave me. So what I'm doing now is taking the information from this list and I've created a special prompt that I'm gonna use over in Mid Journey to create a collection for me. So here's a list, here is the prompt that I created, and um, I'm actually gonna leave this as a, as I leave this prompt below so you guys can take this, you can change it, you can use it, however you want. And so um, basically this is just says, create a kid's camping kit with, you know, all of the items, sleeping bag, camping tent, um, you know, air mattress, et cetera, et cetera. And um, I didn't list everything here, but I listed most of the items in here. All right. And then I put, you know, cartoon, children's, that's what I went to put here, cartoon, Cartoon children's illustration style AR9. So um, that is what we're going to put over into Mid Journey and we're going to allow it to uh, prompt us or allow it to give us the collection of clip art. One thing I did forget to do was to put 
after illustration style plain white background because I want the background to be plain and I want it to be white because we want to clean this up over in Canva. All right. So this is the prompt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this prompt and I'm going to copy this and you can do this for, you know, maybe if you're doing an activity book for uh, gardening, you can do gardening items, get a list of gardening items over in ChatGPT. Or if you're doing like an activity book for skateboarders, you can get skateboarding or skating, et cetera, and et cetera. So I just wanted to just kind of give you guys that heads up. All right. So I'm going to copy this prompt though from this list. And then what we're going to do is we're going to mosey on over to mid journey to test this out. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type in imagine I'm going to do prompt and then I'm going to paste this here. And what I want to do at the end is I want to do backspace and I'm going to do AR space nine colon 11. And I forgot to do this here. I need to put these two dashes in the front. All right. So this is aspect ratio nine and 11 for the size. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prompt this and then we're going to come back and I'm going to see what mid journey is going to give me for the clip art collection. Okay. So this is great guys. Um, this is what mid journey gave me as a clip art collection and look how cool that looks. This looks really, really nice. So the last thing that you want to do is you want to select from each one of the four images, the ones that you like the most that you can up so you can upscale them within mid journey. And then you can actually go in and remove the background image from there. Now, um, I like all of them, but if I had to kind of select really quickly, I would probably go for image number two and then image number four. So I'm going to go ahead and do you two and then I'm going to do you four and then I'm going to allow for mid journey to upscale these images or these clip art collections um, for me. And then I'll come back and show you guys how to upscale them even more to make the image big enough for clip art. OK, so now um, mid journey has finished with upscaling the images uh, so far. But again, they're still kind of small. So we have to go through and we have to upscale the graphics and make them a little bit bigger. I'm only going to do one of these as an example, but um, I'm going to go ahead and just right click and save this one. And then I'm going to go to my desktop and I'll just do camping and I'll put it there, replace the one that I had to show you guys the full example. OK, so this is the image upscaler that I like to use. You can upscale five images at a time. I'm only going to do one. Um, and so what I'm going to do is just go to my desktop and I'm going to drag this here. I'm going to make sure this is set for 400 percent. And then you want to click start so that it can start the upscaling process to make this big so that you can stretch out the graphics and things like that without any issues and without losing the quality of the graphic. So we'll let that get finished and then I'll come right back. Okay, okay. So I've decided to jump over really quickly and use a different tool for this because I think this tool does work a little bit better with what I'm trying to do. And this is called photo P it's free to use. It's like Photoshop, but it's a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to do open and then I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to find that same camping set of graphics and clip arts. First thing that we're going to do is I'm going to click on the magic wand tool. And then I'm going to click to remove everything that is in this white background so we can clear this up. So I'm going to click delete and that's going to remove the background. So everything is gone and I'm going to delete that and everything looks good. Now what you can do is start individually cropping out some of these graphics. So here, for example, if I wanted to crop out the tent, I can just go here and I'm going to crop this out. And then I might have to do a little bit of cleanup work and that's OK. All right. So we're going to do this. And then what I'm going to do from here is go to the uh, eraser tool. I'm going to right click, click on eraser. And then I'm going to go here where it says the brush size to make this a little bit bigger. And then what you want to do is take the brush and start cleaning up some of the other extras that are that are surrounding this tent. I messed up a little bit there. Got to be kind of careful with the brush, but you can actually start just kind of cleaning this up just a little bit to get rid of everything else. And then I know there's another way that you can probably do this by just selecting this one item and all of that, but that's it. So that is cleaned up. This is a tent. So now what you can do is export this as a PNG file, and then I'm just going to click save. And then now what I can do is I can go back over to my camping book that I created in Canva, and then I can upload the file that I just created, which is here. And then this is going to be my own special um, tent 
<laughs> that I could put in the back of here as a piece of clip art. So you can just kind of center that. And then I'm going to position this to the back. All right. And I know this does not look good, but I just wanted to show you guys what you can do. And then from here, you can maybe put some of the other images and things around here and just kind of build this up as an activity book. But the biggest thing that I wanted to show you guys is, again, that you can actually use MidJourney to come up with your own clip art, to come up with your clip art sets, to come up with things that are unique that you can use specifically for your projects that you know are yours. And then you can actually go in and start adding other elements to truly make it your own. So I just wanted to show you guys how to do this really, really quickly. So if you like this video, I'd love for you to, again, um, like, share, subscribe, comment, all of the good stuff. Let me know your thoughts. Are you using MidJourney? I know there's a lot of people that are for it. There's a lot of people that are against it. I'm for it. I think it's great. I think it has its place. I don't think it can, re can replace everything, but there are some great things that you still can do with this tool and um, use it in a way that can really help you with you know, publishing your books and even making some coin um, passively off of making clip art sets and different things and graphics and all that kinds of stuff that you can sell online. So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys uh, later this week with a brand spanking new video. Cheers and stay safe, guys. Bye!